Hello everyone, it's Big Buku, and I got some free-for-all on Kowloon, but it's not really what you think. Um, this video is kind of about me not really complaining, just asking for certain things to be fixed, because I started this game off and... See, right now I don't even know where I am, and look at that. Already into the game there's a, there was a connection issue. There was a couple of them, and sometimes I'll be standing in one spot like just doing nothing like right here I think there was another one it just didn't really show up in the theater because I just decided not to move so when so when it like recovers like I'm in the same spot and it's just insane we started off the game with I don't know I think it was the max people for free for all which I'm not even sure what that is I don't really play that much but I, I'm finding it to be like a really fun game mode and you know different than usual yeah like what, what is that I was just alright I'm lucky to get him it kinda sketched out there but this it's just so laggy sometimes, and it just doesn't make the game fun. And right here, it happens again, I think. Yeah, look at What? What is that? <laughs> this is horrible. And I know the hosts left the game twice, and that d cut up the theater mode. And I can understand if they cut up the theater mode clips, although it's more stuff I have to capture, and then I have to, like, redo it. But this, I, I didn't really edit out the beginning, because I didn't... I didn't really want it to be one smooth clip just because I wanted to see. I wanted to show you guys what the game was like. I mean, this is my first free for all today. I played a little bit earlier. I'm like, yeah, I want to get some get some free for all going. And it's kind of it's tough as is. It, well, it's not really hard. It's just tough to build like, a streak because everyone's coming from everywhere and they're constantly dying. And it's like, Ugh. and just these connection issues really make it that much harder. But anyway, these people are slowly like dropping out of the game and. Again, right there. I was thinking about quitting, to be honest. But then, see? Alright, that was the end of the first clip. The host left there. And I can understand the host because the theater mode is based on the host's connection. So it, so it shows actually what's going on. And I know some people online did the, the lag of the real time, like your camera versus the host and the theater and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. But So I can, I can understand that. But I just don't like all these connection issues. And right here, I'm, I'm kind of camping it out, playing it safe, just in case another connection thing happens. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is insane. And the thing is, look at that, I, I healed a little bit. Thing, But yeah, so I look right there. Alright, the host left. Again. And... I just don't like these connection issues. It's great that they're bringing out the patches and stuff. But I would rather them fix the connections and stuff and such because whenever I try to join my friends' games online, it doesn't let me. It says unable to join session in progress or session is no longer found or game is. Nah, I don't know. It's just hard. And you know, part of this game, part of the reason why I kind of keep it and keep playing it is so I can like play with friends. And and that's kind of the way every game is. Like I don't, I just don't like to play alone. You should see me when I, tr I try playing zombies alone. I quit out after round four just because I get too scared. I I'm thinking I might do a live commentary on that just because I freak the F out. And uh, I don't know why. I am just I just get so scared. Growing up, my dad had played Doom and Quake and stuff. And I mean, when I first got my Xbox, COD 4... After no, I think Gears of War was the first game. Then COD 4, because my friend said it was amazing. I was afraid to play that. We would only play hardcore search and I would like hide in the back and like, no, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, but they realize it's not a big deal. So I guess zombies is kind of the next step. But another thing I want them to fix, when I quit a game because my team sucks, or the connection's short, the co connection gets shorted out, don't put me in the same game again. I don't know if this happened to any of you guys, but I'll be playing a game of domination and I'll quit out, I'll rage quit or whatever, I'll just get booted from the game. And guess what? I joined. Honestly, my dad was in the room and he, he kind of came up. He's like, Why are you yelling? Why are you swearing? I'm like, Because he keeps putting me in the same game. Five times I backed out. I wish I wish I could have could have had that on, on film for you guys, but I quit out, joined, quit, joined five times. No lies or anything. Like, I'm. I'm totally serious right now, and it's just a pain. It's like, I don't want to be in that game. Don't put me right back in it. Like, I mean, when the score in Team Deathmatch... Oh, look at that guy right off the zipline. That was my first guy on the zipline kill. 
And I almost got another one, but I don't put enough bullets in them. But don't put me back in that same game. Especially in TDM, it's like 2,500 to 6,000. Don't even bother putting anyone into that game. Just let the game finish out. Come on. Have some wits. And then, so... It's coming up. I think people start dropping out more and more. And I get this guy again. See, that's the thing. Free you got to be on your toes. I mean, it's good for when you go back to playing TDM and Domination because from Free For All you're going to be looking in all these spots where everyone's going to come from and I think it brings a new level of awareness to your playing which is why I've kind of been playing it because I don't know I'm just not that aware sometimes and I'm kind of like oh whatever I'll just run here and you'll see coming up next I I try to use my, the rest of my Blackbird and this is where I'm, this is my shitty awareness for you guys although I couldn't even see him right there so I don't know but anyway, I get my dog, and people leave. Like, don't leave if the other guy has dogs. Like, you guys suck. Like, he just, look at that dog. I love the dogs in this game. They, they, they do the ones, um, Jaws, X Jaws put a video up where the dog looks, oh, see, I almost get that guy. Where the dogs look like he's, uh, he's got fleas and he's dragging his ass on the ground, and that dog was going, like, sideways. <laughs> he was, like, drifting around the corners. The little puppies. And, so yeah, I mean, don't put me in the same game. And then, that's basically what I had to say about that. And right here, I'm like, wait, why the hell aren't my dogs getting any kills? I was, was kind of like, what? What's going on? Uh, I have no clue. And I'm kind of scouting out the area, scouting out the spawns. I mean, you got to learn how to work the spawns in free-for-all. And if you can learn them in free-for-all, you know them for gun game, you know them for domination, you know them for TDM, and it makes you playing that much better. And kind of vice versa. But... That's what I have to do. Usually in Kowloon, I'll scout these areas. And then my Claymore exploded right there, so I'm like, oh, where is... So someone's around me. But, I mean... Like, the game ends soon. I think it just quits us out, because no one got a kill or something. But there was only two... There was me and another guy. So my dogs were useless. This game was useless. I was really looking forward to winning. And that's just what I hate. I mean, don't quit out of the game. But Treyarch's gotta fix that matchmaking. I love the patches, but come on. The, the, this game is a connection based game. Give me a break. And that's kind of my rant. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know if this is happening to you guys. It's just really frustrating me right now. And yeah, see you later.